Hey, welcome to the Talkies. Talkies. Four filmmakers talking about movies. I'm Kenny. I'm D. I'm Taylor. <laughs> and I'm Maddie. <laughs> and uh, then you're Taylor. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. We talk about movies and shit. So here we go. Um, today, we watched a movie called X from A24. Yay. Uh, it's sort of a, a horror film of sort, sorts. Sort of, yeah, I suppose. Thriller, of sorts, slasher of sorts. I guess it's horror. Period piece. I guess if, you know. Period uh, piece. It is a period. Yeah. 70s. Uh, anyways. influenced. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, it, and it's a movie about people trying to make a movie. Although porn, which is, you know. Still cinema. My favorite. Hey, still cinema. Avant-garde cinema. Sorry, I'm not yeah. going to judge. Yeah, you're right. It's a movie. It's a movie. <laughs> it's like one of the, it's like uh, when, um, what was it? Was it Lars von Trier <laughs> did like real full penetration? It's exactly like oh. that. Sex and nymphomaniac. It's exactly nymphomaniac. Lars, <laughs> yeah. He's it's nymphomaniac. This sure. movie is nymphomaniac. We didn't cover Nymphomaniac, I've did never we? seen that. I haven't either. Oh, I did. That it's sucks. not very good, actually. That's but what I've heard. It was interesting, but not. that is not the movie we're talking about today. <laughs> How does it compare to Human Centipede, another movie that we didn't watch? Human Centipede is more entertaining, but not as good. <laughs> okay, but I understand. Today we're talking about X, <laughs> and uh, we'll start with Hot Takes. X came out this year. Sometime uh, this year, yeah. A24 film. Uh, it was directed by someone named Ty something, rather? Ty West. Yeah, I'm Ty not West. familiar with any of his movies. I had never heard of him before. Me neither. Me neither. And Hot Takes Maddie. A uh, little bored at the end of it. Go. Mm. <laughs> wow. Good. That, that was, was a good. proper hot take. Yeah, you did that right. <laughs> yes. You nailed that. That's probably you. the better one. That, yeah. That's the way it's supposed, it's supposed to work. supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who who would next? I'll go, I'll go. I'll go. Yeah, yeah. I thought this Taylor. movie was fantastic. Uh huh. But I agree, Maddie. Well, I'll leave it at that. Wow! Oh, wow! Wow! Nuanced. Very wow. nuanced. So wow. nuanced. Wow. <laughs> D. Uh, exactly what Taylor said. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bit, bit repetitive. Got it. Got it. Bit repetitive. Yes. Fine. Sure. Okay. And Kenny. And I will say, uh, this movie was far better than it had any right to be. Like, it was a very, very well-made, dumb movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's my main... That's great. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like we're unified. Yeah. yeah. So, can we start except, with Except the... Maddie didn't like it, so... No, I did. I, she I thought was it was... just bored at the end. I, was, I enjoyed it. I and just... full credit, it was boring at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like the whole, like, escape climax it just, ending yeah, was, just like... It kind of fell over. I, like, it's so predictable, everything yeah. about it. Um... And it was kind of a by the numbers slasher movie. Yeah. It was anyway, yeah. Which brings me to the craziest thing about this movie is why did it look so fucking good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The cinematographer on this shot, like I just watched his movie history. I just looked at his movie history, IMDb. They're all horror movies. Mm. Yeah. Which are ones that I've never seen. It didn't look like a horror movie. Yeah. Shot mm. like masterfully. 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 And like yeah. really, really creative framing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you know, this is half the editor, half the cinematographer, some, yeah. but some of the transitions between scenes were like just so creative. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. The shot choices, the, the framing, especially playing with the frame was a big thing in here, which I thought was This amazing. would be a movie that if someone was like, this is the best horror movie ever, I would watch it and start it and be like, whoa, you're totally right. And then when it was over, I'd be like, mm, I question yeah. you uh -huh. and your taste. Yeah. Because it, it's a good movie. It's beautiful. The ca the acting was all fine. And then it was over. And then it, you know, like, I, I'm not going to walk away thinking about it. I won't either. You know? I'll forget about this movie. Yeah. I know exactly what this movie is. Uh -huh. I, I know what the oh, vision is. Oh, do you have pizza for it? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I haven't thought about Short that. Short episode. I have not thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a... Uh, I feel like this is a, vi a vision of like, obviously it's in in line with seventies horror. So mm -hmm. like instantly, I'm thinking of like um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, right. yeah. it's like the a big one, but it's a classy. Yeah, it's a classy seventies kind of grindhouse slasher, slasher horror, yeah. 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 horror movie yeah. Yeah. done in a very classy way mm -hmm. but the content of it is the is just as like uh, schlocky <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's what kenny said yeah. earlier mm -hmm. uh 
what, you, what was it that you said? Well, the, one, the thing I said during the movie yeah. while we were watching it was I've never seen a movie that was so good that was so easy to give commentary on during the right. movie. Yeah. Like we were able to <laughs> analyze, talk about it, and laugh at it. And usually that's an earmark of a bad of a movie. Bad movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yet it was like like half of our comments were like, oh, damn. That, that's awesome, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. But the movie's not good. <laughs> yeah. No. It's weird, yeah. It's like the plot is like super stale. Yeah. Super regular. Uh, but yeah, but cinematography you know, was extraordinary. You know what's mm-hmm. funny? And this is like hella meta, and I wonder if it was even on their minds, but I felt like this movie was exactly what the cinematographer in the movie was talking about <laughs> right so yeah. there's, a, there's a cinematographer oh, who's yeah. there to yeah, shoot yeah. the porno and he's like really preoccupied about making it just like a cut above yeah. pornography he's like no we're gonna make it cinema that's and great. sure it's still porn but we're gonna make it like a, a cinematic porn yeah. yeah and that's what this was it was yeah. just a horror yeah. movie yeah but it was cinematic horror movie yeah, honestly it was kind of film porn uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. like it was. I was eye candy porn. That's great. That yeah. kind of lets you you walk away. Like I, you know, like I feel like I, I s- expect I would feel after if I was a participant in shooting a porno. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like I, whatever role I play, camera or literally getting fucked, <laughs> I would walk away thinking not about the porn, but thinking about myself. Uh, it, yeah, a twenty four really wanted people to expect a hereditary type movie with yeah. this. They, oh, they, yeah. they pushed that in the trailer from the studio that brought you hereditary. Oh, right. right. Yeah. And, um, you know, and it, and it is on tier with the visual storytelling. Mm-hmm. Sure. But, yeah. yeah, but so hereditary ends up an entirely different league oh, because yeah. of casting performance <laughs> direction right. and screenplay literally exactly. everything else yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. i like the i think like i feel like there's there's two kinds of horror movies mm. and it's like hereditary is a kind of horror movie that's like kind of like actually scary mm. and like there's value in that i love that kind of horror movie and then there's like the b movie horror movie yeah like the best one like texas chainsaw massacre keeps coming to mind as like, I feel like that movie is a masterpiece in my opinion, but it's definitely like bare bones plot, dirty sh- cinematography, yeah, and like there's value, and it's not scary. Like yeah. I'm not afraid watching it, but it's still like hitting all these horror marks, and I yeah. feel like this movie is trying to be both mm-hmm. at well, the same time. It, yeah, it which is absolutely raises a really interesting question because I think Texas Chainsaw Mass- Massacre was not made uh, from an artistic point of view as proficiently as this film was, uh-huh. mm-hmm. and yet is a better movie. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, by far. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it was still a schlocky... Yes. You slash people up, last person left yeah. standing, runs yeah. away at the end. Yeah. Sort of horror movie. Like, we've seen this a billion times. Yeah. Why was Texas Chainsaw Massacre better? I think it was, like... It, I think it comes, fr- comes from, like, a, a pure place mm. it, it's it has genuity no, yes exactly it's genuity <laughs> there, it doesn't have that baggage. Well. the gore was part of the theme yeah and this one was kind of like i was the whole time and i still am trying to figure out what theme the filmmaker was going for because yeah. it had something there to do with sexuality and age yeah you know what i mean yeah it was yeah. just like hey these old people are creepy and horny yeah that was, and it. That yeah. was yeah. it that was it that was it mostly she is creepy and horny yeah and he's just Along for the ride. Yeah. 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 Some like bit. very, very minor religious undertones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some military that, kind of yeah. mentions. Like that. But that's it. Yeah. And that spoiler, that twist at yeah. the end. Mm-hmm. It was like that was pointless. That was yeah. stupid. It was <laughs> literally <laughs> dumb. pointless. Yeah. No it's need. It's like, hey, the televangelist that's been on the screen the whole time, his his runaway daughter he's talking about is the star of the mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. Who gives a shit? Yeah. No, yeah. It doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter. Now, it would have mattered if the televangelist was a part of the plot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. if his crazy religious rantings inspired the murders mm-hmm. or something like that mm-hmm. yeah. and it all came full circle yeah see that's what i was thinking at first yeah but me that, too it wasn't even it was that. background no. noise yeah literally background it was yeah. Literally, yeah. Yeah. yeah this film kind of feels a little bit like um 
a story that like it almost seems like the filmmaker found a real life story that happened <laughs> like a film crew went to shoot a porno and and then the fucking land owners like went crazy and killed them or something and then they took that real life story and tried to imbue it with some of their own personal morals and just kind of hint at like hmm see this is a don't go shoot pornos kind of thing <laughs> but also porn is great and they're but not also the bad guys fine. yeah because the bad guys are the old people the morals, you know, that went yeah. to, served in the war. Yeah. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm grasping at thraw, You're at straws. I am. Yeah, I, I was, and it's hard. I was right there with you because, like, when, when the woman uh, killed RJ, the, yeah. her first murder, which mm-hmm. was fucking cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a great awesome. shot. Uh, oh god, and the blood. Yeah, on awesome. the headlights. Oh, yep. so good. Okay, anyway, um, uh, when she was started dancing mm-hmm. with her, with his blood and everything, and her hands were shaking and everything, I'm like, oh shit she's realizing that this is like her kink. Like we were joking about it, mm-hmm. but I was like, no, I think this is actually what the film's going for was that mm-hmm. they're trying to draw a line between, you know, what is kinky and what can you do? And this yeah. girl's not had sex for so long, you know, is this her thing now? Mm-hmm. And she's going to go kill all these other kids because it, now she vibes off it. Yeah. yeah. But it, uh-huh. it literally just did not happen that way. She yeah. just, it's, it's apparently they've just been doing this for a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they definitely allude to that they've killed other people yeah. in the past. And then they just straight up have sex later on in the yeah, movie. Yeah, why didn't she just ask him to have sex with her earlier? He did, he and did. he said no. He said My no. heart he can't take it. To. But then he changed. He did but die, then, though. He did yeah. die. So I guess he yeah. was right. He was right. But not did for they, the sex. Was that an arc? Uh. Because because <laughs> <That's> <laughs> because the person gurgled. I, <laughs> it's true. No one had an arc. Like, I'm trying this. really yeah. hard no to like make a connection, and I think there's just a lot of kind of suggestions that the filmmaker kind of just included. Like, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Let that let that be a part of it. I want to throw this out there. In Hereditary... They had uh, a lot of a lot of really 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 long still shots mm-hmm. of of like nothing else happening. We're just yep. focusing on one character, and I loved that kind of stuff because one, it was like really really fucking weird and mm-hmm. distressing. Yeah, but also because it thematically connects with like the the kid who is like literally trying to stay away from his, his this family drama mm-hmm. from his mom who's mm-hmm. <laughs> who's gonna like tear him apart. For killing his sister mm-hmm. accidentally. Mm-hmm. Uh, shit. Yeah. Uh, spoilers for her. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but uh, <laughs> he's up. Uh, it's only been like five years. Jesus. <laughs> but thematically, it's it's five super, years. super heavy. I think mm-hmm. it's super so, heavy tied yeah. together. Mm-hmm. Has it been that long? Five years? At least four. Probably. Yeah. Anyway, God. Yeah. If you haven't seen Hereditary, yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah. That's a very good movie. Also Midsummer. Also Ari yeah. Oster. Midsummer's Ari, great. Whatever. I was gonna say mid I was actually gonna say that Midsummer is kinda like this movie in the sense that it's like a last person surviving mm-hmm. type mm-hmm. horror mm-hmm. movie. Right. Last and person surviving and last person kind of joins the bad yeah, guys. Yeah, exactly. So there's yeah. like a twist on that. It's like yeah. instead of running away, it's like yeah. uh assimilating. Yeah. yeah. With she them. meant to kill she shot the gun. Yeah, yeah. she did intend to kill. Mm-hmm. But and so, like, that's all. Also, Midsummer's like better. Midsummer's, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Well, and the big difference, like, they really didn't develop any of these characters out. Mm-mm. Like, you never really felt a sense of knowing who these people are or caring about them that much. None of them, right? Mm-mm. You know, the, the, it was clear the movie wanted you to connect to the uh, the the blue eyeshadow girl. Yeah, that's her I name. Don't remember her name. Too. I don't remember her name. Yeah. <laughs> But the last woman standing, right? Yeah. Like the movie was telling us that she's important. Yeah. But all I know weird. about her is that she wants to be a star. She's hooked on cocaine, and that's pretty much it. And that was mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mm-hmm. love the conversation they had about porn, like while they were all sitting. Yeah, that was the, the best. My favorite part is that well. was so probably good. the best scene in the movie. Yeah. yeah. Actually, in terms of like actual storytelling, right? Yeah. Like writing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you're you're going Acting. somewhere with this, and then no, I guess not. Never yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that had the most the best performances, I think. Yeah, because it yeah. had interaction, and it had people. some crazy tension between yeah. uh, what they called uh, the church mouse yeah. girl yeah. Yeah. and her boyfriend. Yeah, they're like, oh shit! Like she's like that's actual drama. That happening. was yeah. cool, actually. Yeah. That yeah. the movie was getting interesting for the yeah. first really first time. <laughs> yeah. Then that's mm-hmm. where it got interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. it stopped. It really <laughs> did stop. It like hard stopped. Just after it got interesting, they're yeah. like, "Well, kill off RJ." <laughs> when the, <laughs> yeah, when the murders started happening, that's when it stopped getting interesting. Yeah, yeah that's Kinda, when it became yeah. like, "Okay, I know exactly what's going to happen." Yeah, yeah <laughs> like, "Oh, this is this yeah. is the climax. This is like, scared as like I'm going to be." This movie is too bogged down with being an a huge homage 
to yeah. to the seventies horror film sure. mm-hmm. with right. like a modern kind of modern cinematography. Yeah, I like um, sensibilities. Yeah, but it doesn't do anything to comment on the genre mm-hmm. or like do a twist on it or add anything to that conversation. They, yeah, mm-hmm. they didn't mm-hmm. add anything, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, the more I think about this movie, I think it literally is all screenplay is mm-hmm. the problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because the, the performances were actually all good. Oh, very totally. good. The all cast is good. good. Like Kid Cuddy? Yeah, he yeah, was Kid great. Kid Cuddy's Cuddy's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, he was great. He was yeah. awesome. And huge dick. <laughs> Massive. And huge dick, by the Massive. way. Hung. Yeah. Big ol' swang and Hung bell. like a horse. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, good for you, man. Hey, good for um, you. <laughs> but, uh... 17 inches. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry for the girlfriend. She's but, uh, dead. And uh, the editing was so clever. Like, there was some awesome editing, editing in yeah. here. Yeah. And a very clear direction Mm -hmm. like i could sense a good director it was totally cohesive i'm sure ty west is a good director is that his name that is his name cool i think he's a good director um which just means it's just not a well-written story it's just Mm -hmm. not a fleshed out story yeah Yeah. there's just just not enough there Mm -hmm. just needs more just needs a better story yeah yeah Mm -hmm. it's It's like one of those movies where you're like hey i have an awesome team and I got money, and so we want to go make a movie, but we don't have a movie. Yeah. So let's let's throw a movie together so we can go make it. Yeah. Jeez. You know, yeah. it's, yeah, not, it's totally. not a story that organically evolves out mm-hmm. of like passion, mm-hmm. right. but it's like, yeah, my uncle's gonna let us use his farm, yeah. mm-hmm. and we got mm-hmm. some funding. Mm-hmm. It's funny know? because yeah, because the the throwback to the seventies stuff, it didn't, it wasn't there in the cinematography, like you said, Taylor. Like, right. like it was, like I wonder what was driving the seventies style. If right. it was just the story, or if it was well, the directing, also. You mean just the genre? I mean, it was. I mean, it was the it genre. Was the period. Yeah, it yeah. Took place in the seventies. Yeah, I'm I just. Think I'm also, wondering why he wanted to make this movie. Which makes me come back to the Vietnam and the war and the serving kind of yeah. thing. Why? Why was that a part Probably of it? Probably because it was a trope, honestly. Maybe. But they, they the seventies trope. Yeah, they just kept saying it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something sure, that sure. happened in that era. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that was fucking weird. The soldier with the afro. There was no racism, was there? No, and they even said the word queer, which made me think yeah. it was, like you say, you know, like modern sensibilities, but like an homage to kind yeah. of old yeah. timey. But. Uh, the alligator attack was awesome. Yeah. yeah was, that, was pretty that was really well done. How yeah. just like grabbed her by the head. Mm-hmm. Like, I, didn't, I just, there were a lot of things in this movie where I'm like, oh, I haven't seen it done that way before. Yeah. yeah. And the so the amount of like uh, ingenuity yeah. and creativity was so refreshing and fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just weird that it was in such a boring movie. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think uh, this is definitely one to see, I think, if you're sure. into yeah. this kind of movie. Yeah. If you like horror movies at all. Honestly? Uh, no, yeah. if you look just like cinematography. Like this. The same here. Yeah. I got more out of this <laughs> from the cinematography than I did the horror. I did too. Yeah. Know? 100%. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there was a moment where my heart rate picked up or any. <laughs> like, never. This is no. not a scary movie. No. No. <laughs> no. There's moments that are kind of creepy. There, yeah. There's some creepy shots, but that are it's mostly not. Just because like, it's an old person yeah. who looks kind of creepy in the moment. Like that's, yeah, in the red light, in the there distance. Was, oh, okay. Know. Can I talk about something that really bugged me? No. No? no? Okay, I'm oh, sorry. sorry. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, no, sorry. don't yeah, do it. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> uh, that, <laughs> there, was, there was that scene at the, at, near the end where the old couple is having sex on the yeah, bed. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> and I hate girl, that you've brought this up. It's in my head. <laughs> <laughs> and the, oh, and wrinkly the ass cheeks tightening. <laughs> underneath the bed, and the and the thing's almost hitting her right the mm-hmm. low yeah. uh, mm-hmm. springs, but <laughs> the whole the score in the movie is just going. This is supposed to be a very tense. Yeah, moment. yeah. like uh-huh. it's oh, that's really fucking weird and yeah. scary. And just like okay, she was literally just in a porn before mm-hmm. and we yeah. were watching her yeah. have sex. This so is it's not, not that, weird that they're fucking. Yeah. And then they're just old, and they're actually having a reconciliation moment, which is yeah. kind of nice. Right? Yeah, and and they're not armed at the moment. Yeah, their pants are down. Their conversation was healthy. Yeah, there's so literally no no tense yeah. moment <laughs> happening. Yeah. and blue eyeshadow doesn't know that they've murdered to That's this point. Point. So there's no reason for That's other true. than they're she both creepy. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. she laid in her bed, which freaked her out. That is totally That's creepy as fuck. Freaky. I totally yeah. understand that. Yeah. That but part was the creepiest. That was maybe the Hella. creepiest moment Hella. of the whole movie. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Um, and she wasn't killing anyone there. But yeah. yeah, that scene <laughs> yeah. was was trying to make us feel extreme suspense. Yeah. 
And it was like, this is an easy escape moment. Right. Like, you could probably just stand up and kick them in the I head. <laughs> yeah. Right now. Yeah. Like, they would probably clearly both no die. Yeah. They would probably yeah. both yeah. die. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I'm going to nitpick the, the shotgun. Uh, the dude, the, yeah. the old man yeah. shot it twice or yep. three times. Mm-hmm. and No kick. No kick. And then the woman <laughs> shot it and she got kicked launched five off the feet. Yeah, like, like, like a Marine. fucking Western or something. Oh, oh but he's Marine. a Marine. He's totally. Right, yeah. yeah. He's got the He's chops. stronger than you think. Oh, yeah. sure, yeah. He's a man. Those yeah. quads? Yeah. But my heart, right. Yeah. That woman literally was <laughs> like, but I can shoot a shotgun. She was literally launched off the porch <laughs> into the driveway. That was my second favorite moment. That if was it had like a, to him, too. It was like mm-hmm. a Django Unchained. That's what I was going to say, too. It was like Django. It was. <laughs> yeah. That's where I was Classic saying that Western. I got like those Mandy vibes from it. Mm. There were, yeah. yeah. I almost wish they went more extreme. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, like how you, like, that's how you that's go. That's the only yeah. way you make up for such a yeah. like a lightweight script is like oh, on lean the into too. the crazy. Yeah, Speaking indulge. of that, I was waiting for some awesome reveal in the attic. But is it really just the naked man? Like that's just strung up? You mean the basement? The basement. Yeah, or yeah. yeah, the basement. Yeah, yeah. Because the, in the beginning, scene is, oh my God. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. What's that was the oh a my thing. God? Yeah. There's nothing there to oh my God. It, You've seen worse it's in the It's another driveway. body. It's They've another body. It's <laughs> killing With people. more <laughs> parts attached yeah. to it. Yeah, like, it is a complete body. just saw body. like eight dead bodies, and then they're like, in oh my God. In various array God. of like dismemberment. Another dead body. Oh my God. I know. <laughs> these people have been killing, and they killed my friends, and turns out they have experience with killing. <laughs> and and also, whoa, were they sexual? That's worse. Yeah, and then, yeah, and there was hmm. sex involved. Hmm. What do you think's on this camera, Chief? <laughs> yeah, whatever. God, is it why does it feel just extremely overused and cliche to have an an older, tired looking black uh police figure <laughs> who just shows up and goes Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cliche. Oh yeah. yep. my God. That's it, yeah. I like how the, that whole God like damn. setup, <laughs> that setup of like the very beginning of the movie where there's cops at the scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the movie ends with the cops at the scene in the same place. That, that scene literally like doesn't do anything. Doesn't yeah, no, it was a not good idea. Yeah. Nope. I was excited to see <laughs> how things too. would come around full circle and tie up. And mm-hmm. it it was literally what we expected. Yeah. yeah. It was just it was just <laughs> what they said it would be. Dude. Yeah. They're like, dead bodies. Now we'll tell you the story of how the dead bodies got here. Yep. You know? Yep. This oh, must have been the cool. <laughs> most boring script to read. Yeah. Because you know? it was uh, fascinating to watch. Sure. Yeah. To watch. Because the to visuals. Watch. Because of the, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the good cinematography, good editing. Yeah. yeah. Even the sound. Nothing was spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. There was, there was, man, there was, okay, a couple shots I want to talk about real quick. Uh. Real quick, guys. Fine, just real fine, quick. Fine Only quick. <laughs> the uh, That's a deism. Up. He mm. says that a lot. I say that mm. all the time. So the opening shot where mm-hmm. we have uh, the almost four by three aspect ratio through the doors yeah. mm-hmm. was really cool because we have one cop car coming in and then we re-reveal mm-hmm. through the doors that mm-hmm. there's other cops already there. I love that it's showing that this is a much bigger situation yes. than what you thought it was. Yeah. And then we have, I think it's the second shot where we go into the, the doorway. And we don't see the police officer, but instead see his feet. Mm-hmm. And or I guess he walks over all the bodies first. But when he goes into the door, we see all the blood pouring off of the uh, the threshold of yeah. the door. Mm-hmm. And so that shot is exactly copied again. Yeah. Later on in the movie, yeah. when it's all clean and the girl is going in this mm-hmm. time, mm-hmm. and it's like a thematic jump to where you're going, oh, she's going to go in, and therefore some big ass thing's going to happen right here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it, it just means nothing well what i feel like is the cinematographer wanted to lean into visual storytelling but just didn't have a lot to work with yeah yeah you know Mm -hmm. it's like yeah let's be very intentional and put a lot of meaning into Mm -hmm. these shots yeah Yeah. but the story is an inch deep (laughs) so (laughs) it's honestly like there's nothing there it's an inch deep yeah yeah this could have been a pokemon episode but shot (laughs) on a cinematic camera (laughs) with wide lenses and some slow pushes you know what i mean that opening shot made me think because i was trying to the correlation of like the aspect ratios and the idea of maybe the 70s thing of like porn and shooting a porn Maybe that's kind of the theme, that, right? Like yeah. we're seeing, yeah, we're trying, seeing porn. Yes. This is horror porn right now. <laughs> like that's what this aspect ratio is. That's we're great. gonna about to watch a horror porno. Yeah, Shit. that's great. A horno. I love porno. Horno. 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 If you will. Indeed. Yeah. See, Indeed. Uh, the cinematographer is a genius. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, just the screenplay is not. Ooh, I have a conspiracy <laughs> now. Okay. What if the cinematographer was so pissed that this was his way of a coup? 
He's like, you know what? I'm going to take over sucks. the movie. I'm going to make it good. I'm going to make it like, yeah, I'm going to make it so the only thing people talk about is my work. Yep. Well, he succeeded. And then he got all the actors in on it. He was like, okay, guys, I know that I know this is kind of lame, but I'm going to make you look dope. I just want to know how a script this lame gets A24. I want A24. Yeah, really Same, dude. I could write a better of, script it, than this. Because of vision. I write better scripts than this. You know what's interesting? Was <laughs> we've seen, I think, an equally dumb movie by A24. I think I might I might get hung for this. Mm. Okay. Uh, a ghost story, which I thought Oh, I, this, I thought the plot of the ghost story was kind of bare, but the visual storytelling was immaculate. Mm. Mm. I like the ghost story a lot more. Yeah, I love I a ghost story, dumb. but I think, but I love a ghost story because of the way it told the story. There, there's been so many twenty fours that were less good. Mm-hmm. Uh, less good. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, uh, was Ad Astra an A twenty four? I don't think it I was. Don't remember. That was too big budget. High Life. Was High Life was A twenty four. It comes at night. Oh yeah, that was kind of. It comes yeah. at night. It was dope. Uh, it comes at night is the same as this. Yeah, honestly, no. no. It comes at night. I love it. I didn't know. Oh, no, 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 my bad. My bad. No, no. I thought it was It Follows. <laughs> yeah, not It Follows. It well, Follows. Oh, you were saying no. the wrong way. It follows. it follows is awesome. Yeah. It yeah. Follows is great. It Comes at Night, it, me and Taylor went and saw it, and it is like a, there's like an end of the world style plague going on, and they tell a very small, intimate story about a family living in the woods. That's High Life. And <laughs> Put in space. Yeah. Yeah. High Life yeah. in the Woods. It Comes at Night has... Uh, a more a better story than this movie maybe so it's been a while i felt like it didn't have much of a story it had an excellent sense of place yeah and good direction and great performance uh but just still left me bland. feeling like why why is this a movie yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> wow I why is this a movie kind of right yeah. although this is the perfect movie for like Going to the drive-in for a makeout sesh because you can watch the movie. I couldn't check in that. every once in a while, and you're not going to miss anything. I'd be glued to the screen if I watched this. Would you really? Oh, because you're right. Visuals. Visual. I'm over here. I'm like, eh. none of the characters are that interesting. Sure, sure, sure. It was in the a middle good of a movie that have a, a little alcohol buzz for. Yeah. I, yeah. I think that helped my that experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a couple of beers, back of a truck, you know, watching drive-in. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like fun. Yeah. I get why this movie exists. I feel like this movie needed to be made. In oh, a way. tell us. And and it's because it's like I feel like I kind of visioned this movie myself. I was I, sure I like I like that seventies horror schlock a sure, lot. Sure, sure. And I like the idea of kind of like modernizing it, mm-hmm. but not like modernizing the aesthetics. Like it still has film grain and yeah, all those anamorphic an- imperfections and stuff like that. But the, you know, like I said earlier, like the the uh, sensibilities of how the camera moves is mm-hmm. extremely modern. Mm-hmm. I think that's go. cool, and I think it's really fun to indulge in that. But I think they should have indulged more. Yeah, I like like Maddie. Yeah. Um, not wait, Maddie. Ma- Mandy. Oh shit, Mandy. 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 I like in. Mandy. Uh huh. Yeah. Where that movie goes way far all mm-hmm. in yeah. all yeah. In. Yeah. way yeah. over yeah. the top yeah. Mm-hmm. which yeah. is super mm-hmm. fun mm-hmm. i kind of wish this movie was less crazy or way more crazy yeah mm-hmm. i agree <laughs> one or the yeah. other mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and That's the thing interesting. yeah less crazy would like make it more of just like character based yeah or go or extreme suspense. crazy bloody yeah. visually insane yeah like yeah. drinking the blood or i thought honestly and it might have made it even a better film if she did actually orgasm after she killed that's him. That's literally what you know I thought happened. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. 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 Make her like, go crazy. There. Yeah. Go there. I, yeah. I agree. Waiting for this movie to go to the next level. Me too. Like, it felt like it just was holding back the punches. I was kind of waiting for her to suck some blood, you know? Now, yeah. Well, when she laid yeah. down that's in the I'm bed. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. When the old lady laid in the bed with eyeshadow girl. Mm-hmm. I'm like... I thought she was going to rape her. I thought yeah, she was going to yeah. rape her. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I thought, dude, we're going about to see an old woman rape a younger woman. Yeah. I was ready to learn. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready for and, that. I was ready to grow. I was ready to be totally and disturbed. Just, and that would have been another level, it you know? Been. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like it's like hereditary. Sorry to keep going back to the same movie. <laughs> I was going to say, if Ari Aster directed this, that, this, that, that would have happened. Yeah, yeah, right. That would have yeah. In hereditary, yeah. when the girl's head gets knocked off, you real you quickly realize we have been elevated 
You're like, oh my, what? This mm-hmm. is not what I thought I was going to see. We're in yeah. a different movie completely. Oh, there's more depth. There's you know? more baggage. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. And that just never happened here. Yeah. It's just like, hey, here's the type of movie you're going to see. And no surprises. And here it is. Here's what <laughs> yeah. I, I this movie reminded me and made made me keep thinking it would go towards a skeleton key kind of B movie horror. Did any of you see that? I didn't see it. It's pretty no. much all spoilers. It's not great, but it's it's a horror <laughs> movie and it's in the South, kind of you know same accents. <laughs> <laughs> but it's these old people who do pretty much voodoo to take over the bodies of younger people. It's all the same kind of thing. Age, like they kill, they have out, sex. Kind of. kind of like get out. Yeah. And I was waiting for something like that, like some kind of ritual or some kind of, I don't know, theme. That's what I keep coming back to. Like, what is the fucking <laughs> point the of this movie? Yeah, what is the point? point? Yeah. Like, what are, what are you trying to say? Yeah. I have no clue. Uh, horror movies, I feel like, are all that way. Yeah, honestly. usually. Sometimes. This movie was better than Antebellum. Shit, yeah, it was. Oh, geez. Hmm. Why'd you have to remind me? Sorry, of <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but that was a movie that, like, <laughs> had lots of cool things in it, yeah. but was still just, like, like bad taste in your mouth, bad. <laughs> yeah. Whereas this movie had lots of cool things in it, Yeah. but I, I don't regret living today. Yeah. I don't have a bad yeah. taste in my mouth. Yeah, and exactly. I would still wouldn't necessarily call it a bad movie. I would watch it again. Yeah, no, no. I, I, I would watch it, it again. This is one of those yeah. movies that we're going to spend an entire episode shitting on it, but when someone asks us about it a month from now, we're going to be like, yeah, that movie's dope. That was really good. Yeah, totally, yeah. Yeah. totally. <laughs> no, for real, though, this is a movie that's like a perfect for a date because it's a good movie. You it enjoy is, yeah. it, but you can also kind of check out. It is. <laughs> you can't miss it anything. Good, right. It's a fun movie to watch with a group mm-hmm. yeah. or as a date. Yeah. Or uh, extremely intoxicated. Yeah. Or the, all, the of of all of those things. The at four the of once. us kept commenting commenting on the movie during the movie mm-hmm. right. and there are so many movies where i'd be like shut the fuck up <laughs> right. oh yeah like shut 100%. up i'm watching a movie mm-hmm. be quiet mm-hmm. and in those movies none of you would have said anything no. by the way 100 yeah. percent. but but like in this it didn't bother me at nope. all i'm nope. just like yeah for real right oh this is a subtitles <laughs> must movie have the subtitles on have oh, other people geez. have alcohol the old lady was you could not understand her no. at mm. all. Completely. Inaudible. I don't know yeah. how mm-hmm. you would manage to get mm-hmm. what's going on from her dialogue if you didn't she have subtitles. She said some important shit, too. She really, yeah, she did. <laughs> she really did. Yeah. Yeah, like she bang. shares literal, like, like essential exposition right. for the whole theme. Yeah. Yeah. For the for the weak-ass theme. The very weak yeah. theme. <laughs> Here's the feminist moment of the week for me. Oh. I'm just kind of over crazy lady syndrome. You know what I mean? I can see that. Like, you didn't get fucked enough? Really? You're going to murder people now? <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's I'm kind of like, bland. is that, like... That's bad, and, yeah. And kind of 1D. A little bit. It's the same... No D, am I no right? D. Yeah. <laughs> zero D. <laughs> it's zero D. It's that's the bad. same... Uh, <laughs> I feel the same way about using the elderly for scare factors. I do the, yeah. Seriously? Yeah. That's like, not the same way. That sex scene Easy. Mm-hmm. is exactly what yeah, I'm talking I mean, about. Yeah. To be Agreed. creepy because they're old. Because they're old. Heaven right. forbid I get some ass when I'm that age. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> because Seriously. I, I sure hope I do. That'd be <laughs> awesome. Mm-hmm. Right? Good mm-hmm. for them. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, I'm not going like, to fucking murder anybody if I can't get it. Like, I don't understand. Tell me I'm special. I'm yeah. going to kill somebody. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. And I've just seen too many movies where it's like, I'm not even going to try to make it creepy with like the ambiance or yeah. the setup or the story or the camera. I don't have to do anything because they're old. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's, it's yeah. already creepy. They already the have sunken technique. eyes. It's yeah. the yep. yeah. It's Absolutely. like having a small chill- child with red hair. Oh yeah, like a little right. redheaded kid yeah, can just walk up he's and be like, weirdo. Scary. Could Freak. say something <laughs> random like, "The wolf comes tonight," <laughs> and then everyone's like, "Oh, that's fucking creepy!" Because <laughs> it's because it's a little redhead white boy, and it was like, "Ah!" You know? <laughs> that's so stupid. That was Winchester, yeah, was. by the way. That was Winchester. Winchester had a little redhead, like albino looking kid. Oh my god! And they just literally <laughs> decided. This is creepy because he's weird looking. Right. You know, that uh, movie is absolute God, it, trash. It's so <laughs> just try harder, people. Yeah, again, that that makes me think of uh, Midsummer again. Yeah. It's like yeah, because that, that movie was absolute trash. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't doesn't use creepy old people, doesn't, doesn't use yeah. any visual cliche of yeah. of what is like defined as visually well, scary. And, and when old people awesome. were a part yeah, of the story. 
They were creepy because of what they did and said and the way they acted. Yeah, and not the because context, they were old. Not just because they're <laughs> <Yeah>. old. <laughs> Although the fact that she was old, I'm thinking of the time that she was pushing the guy's ass so he was fucking the oh, girl, yeah. right? That was creepy because she was old made me think, oh my God, how many times has she done this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Age oh, is important in that. In this instance, it's just, oh, how sad. Yeah, yeah. Horny and old and they can't get hard and be nice to them, right? That's the, yeah, or that's they'll the theme fuck that you're up. reaching like for the, there. Yeah. <laughs> that's that theme. The more we talk about this, God. the more I'm like, uh, This is the, maybe the, one of the worst films I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to say, Midsummer is dripping with theme. Mm. Oh, yeah. Versus this movie. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should stop comparing it to <laughs> it's obviously it's better really movies. really unfair. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, they invited the comparison. I mean, they, they said movie. it right up front. It's, it you're is. from the it's same studio that brought you Hereditary. It was so, the same I mean, studio. Yeah. They're mm-hmm. asking for mm-hmm. it. And asking for it. I will give you. Yeah, you failed. You just failed. <laughs> you failed. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do it. I'm yeah, sorry. This is a, a solid B. Solid B. B movie for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, B you know, movie. Not I even as good it. as the B movie. Said. I would oh, say. Damn. Wow. Oh, wow. damn. The B wow. movie has more cultural impact <laughs> and more fucking story. Damn. I'd call sorry. it a B minus movie. Whoa. C- and they can C- the, plus, they can hide Dang. behind that because they're like, oh yeah, we always set out to make a B movie. Seventies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not that the was cinematographer. The not the that cinematography was, the was definitely making an A movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. they were on two different levels. Here. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. so. That's so weird. That's really weird. Then I think about it now because now we're we're <laughs> we're commenting about how bad the story. Was. This <laughs> yeah. is cine, cinema narrative dissonance. Is what this oh, is. Oh, it is cinema narrative dissonance. As that's far a, as the movie the goes, term. it passes. Like it has all the the elements of it. Yeah, but it doesn't have. Ooh, it doesn't have that special X factor. Ooh, dang. You know what I mean? Dang. Yeah, it's except just it passes. You there. It passes in the same way that a Hallmark movie passes. Indeed. You know? Indeed. It's it's just that. I feel like this is a film where like and dude, I forgive me, Ty West, if I ever meet you someday or <laughs> try to work with you. Sorry. All these uh, big A24 directors <laughs> that are uh, well, shit. listening I to the talk. I would be happy to work for this guy and yeah, work on this film. I'd be thing. proud of it. I'd be proud of this movie, 100%. 100%. But I feel like... Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I was Fuck waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready for it. I feel like his, his like heart wasn't there. Like He was distracted or had already been demoralized about the script or something. Mm-hmm. For some reason, director was like half-assing it. And the cinematographer is like, I'm going to pick up the slack here. He was full assing. Yeah. As we call it. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. It was, I'd almost want to say that he was like, took it a little too seriously or was like too, <laughs> the like. The cinematographer? That's what we're no, like the director. Oh. oh. Could be. Yeah. Could Interesting. Be. And like, like uh, being afraid to be bold. I could see that. Because mm. you know there's, sure no, there's no risks in here. Exactly. No yeah. real risks. And, right. and pretty like surface edgy stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The person who should have directed this movie is Quentin Tarantino. Absolutely. Well, that'd be a thing. That would, that's, well, actually. It'd be a different movie. Now that you say a little that. Bit. <laughs> Although, um, I, I like the slow shots. Like I like some of the... Because the, I don't know. I'm, yeah. I, I get what you mean. Tarantino I was going to say... You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. His yeah. cinematography would have matched perfectly, I think, in this... Like the stuff that he usually does. Sure, the, I think the, I think Tarantino gets the um, like, like the the content, not necessarily the visual yeah, yeah. side of it, right. but like like the, the oh, energy yeah. and like the mm-hmm. mood and mm-hmm. like the uh, where that yeah. kind of filmmaking is coming from. One hundred percent. It never totally. felt crazy. Yeah, and uh, Tarantino is really good at making shit go crazy. Yeah. yeah where like, you get to this level, you're like, oh my God, what is happening in this movie? Yeah. And it just never got close to that. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, it felt like it could have been a slightly more edgy uh, M. Night Shyamalan film. Mm-hmm. It, I, I yeah, agree. No, this is like the best M. Night Shyamalan film ever, yeah. probably. Whoa. <laughs> Blows Avatar out of the fucking water. <laughs> Avatar. Avatar. Mm-hmm. Like, that's Any not a movie. movie yeah. the last we don't talk about that. <laughs> we do not talk about that. That's fair. Yeah, that is a, the first rule of talkies. <laughs> <laughs> don't actually ever bring a real pizza. And <laughs> we don't talk about Avatar. Yeah, yeah. speaking of pizza. Pizza. Mm, I am hungry. I could eat a pizza I'm right starving. now. I'm yeah, starving. Let's, yeah. let's eat some metaphorical pizzas. I know I'm exactly hungry. what this is. <gasps> I already know what this is. You I'm do? so ready. Yeah, for these. All, right. All right, bring it. 
This is a marshmallow shaped like a pizza. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's delicious. It's like a savory marshmallow. It's a good I, don't, I don't know how to. Oh. Little yeah. salt. Yeah. Sea salt a little marshmallow. Sea salt. <laughs> what? <laughs> so it like I get it. What? You, what? So you take so you take a slice of this pizza, right? And 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 it's it's fluffy and it's really light and everything. And you take a big bite and you're like, oh, pizza. Like like it tastes like pizza. And then you mm-hmm. keep chewing and it's it's, it's gone. Mm-hmm. You're like, well, okay, I guess I can have some more. And then by the time you just eat the whole thing, you're like, oh, that was. I mean, that was an experience. Probably wasn't healthy, but. Probably wasn't. Yeah. Probably wasn't healthy, but <laughs> doesn't, I didn't. It doesn't leave a lasting impression. <laughs> <laughs> and you sure. just move on with your life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bad choices. Uh, sure. But it was fun. Sure. All right. All right. That's, that's good. My my pizza is, um, this is a standard uh, DiGiorno or maybe Red Baron. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ooh. You know, it's a frozen, yeah. frozen pizza. <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, frozen pizza. Oof. But it was delivered to you. Oh. It's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. <laughs> but it was. <laughs> but it was, was delivery. It was. Oh. And in like, like a beautiful box. <laughs> <laughs> like honestly, like it was made of like wood. Whoa. And it has oh, like brilliant. it has like like burned designs into the top oh, of it. Shit. Like it's laser. It's cut. got some uh, fil- like gold filigree. <laughs> like it's just like this gorgeous uh, artistic box. But inside, it's just a, a DiGiorno pizza. <laughs> yeah. Shit. That's amazing. I love yeah. that. That's a word. You're like, wow, That's that incredible. was an experience, but it really wasn't a good pizza experience. It was just good mm. pizza. It was just I mean, pizza. It was just I mean, pizza. I mean, like, nothing special. Like, nothing yeah. special. Pizza. Like, That's I want to find out what went into this box. Really? Sure, sure. I mean, That's yeah. really Like, I'm talking more about the, the box. box. <laughs> yeah. We're all talking about the box. No one's really talking about the pizza, you know? That's, That's a good I'm, one. That's what I'm What's seeing. in the box? That's a good one. Yeah. Pizza. Yeah. Pizza's in the box. Do you have an idea of what your pizza or not? Not really. I'm not passionate about mine, but okay. I'll bring up my unpassionless pizza. This pe- this movie is a pizza that That's weird. I don't know what you're talking weird. about. It's weird. Mm. This movie is a pizza. What are you talking about? This movie is a pizza. <laughs> um, and you only eat half of it. You put the rest in the fridge. It's leftover, and you forget that you have those leftovers. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because oh, yeah. The, it, you enjoyed yourself in the moment, but you ate the pizza because it was mostly, "Hey, what should we do tonight, guys? I don't know. Let's get pizza." You go get the pizza. You bring some back because you have some leftovers. And then a couple weeks later, you're like, oh, yeah, that pizza. That's right. Yeah. I had that That's pizza. That's right, I had that. And now it's yeah, blue. Like, I'm not going to eat nope, that. I'm not going to eat that. I'm not going to eat that anymore. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> well but done. I would tell other people to go get the pizza that I got. I'd be like, yeah, it was good pizza. Mm. I'm not going to go back. You know, like, again, if I, unless, I, unless I have to. Unless there's a point. But there's not. This so. is great. That's it. That's Add great. This Works. Is, I love that. Accurate rating. Yep. All right, Taylor. Pressure's I on. was trying to think that whole time. I was time. stalling for you, too. Yeah. I was no, going on. on. I, it was, this Come is. On. Come on, man. Uh, oh, all right. The best God. I got, the best I got um, is jumping off of your rating, uh-huh. Kenny. Okay. And, and that would be. You can piggyback me anytime. <laughs> thank you. It, it would be, um, it would be like, like you, you're going to like a, uh, a really okay i know there's there's a pizza place in sacramento that me and alejandra have tried recently that we love it's our favorite it's actually like the best best pizza i've had in sacramento like they actually make an extremely high quality uh margarita pizza and like super legitimately really good Mm. all right it's expensive and and so you pay for good food Mm -hmm. i'm intrigued uh so it's and it's a a fine dining restaurant (laughs) And then you go to to that. Sorry, um, Taylor makes lots of money. Just so you know, <laughs> so I'm talking. Money. I'm dropping. I'm uh, uh, Benji's. Benji's. Benji. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Damn. And and we and we go and they you order you know you order a pepperoni pizza, but they give you just like um, a generic pepperoni pizza. Like it's not like it's they it's not their normal frozen yeah it's a frozen piece they they get it frozen and they pretend like it's Mm -hmm. not yeah so it's like this awesome restaurant that has amazing pizza but they like ran out and so they panic and go get a frozen pizza yeah something like that (laughs) i don't know man some shit like that (laughs) high quality uh environment low quality product love it 
There you go. Love there it. There you go. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Nice. I recommend that pizza place, though. It's called Mas- Masolos. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So what's and it this episode is Masolos? brought to you by M- M- Masolos <laughs> Pizza that in, was in Sacramento. <laughs> we don't remember what it's called, but we're brought to you by that. Uh, it's right across uh, the street from the... Um, uh, 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 fucking... <laughs> fucking... Uh, <laughs> Right. Yeah, that's what the cemetery. Worst commercials. The cemetery. <laughs> cemetery. It's across the street from the Broadway cemetery. Mm, yeah, oh, cemetery yeah. pizza. Want to go there more. Yeah. yeah, deadbeat pizza. <laughs> I recommend. Okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, well, cool. well, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> you won't get this movie there. Go get a great pizza. You'll, you definitely have heard if that here Sacramento, first. If you're in Sacramento, go get a great pizza across the street from the cemetery. <laughs> and if you want to see a great movie, come and hang out with us. I suppose. I don't know. Yeah, see a lot of great movies. movies. Some of the times. Some of the time. Anyway. Actually, don't talk to me. Just listen to us. Yeah. What is our ratio? We don't want to meet new people, <laughs> to be honest. Just uh, stay away. Um, Are you guys ready to talk about Elvis? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Double yeah. feature. We all watched we Elvis. Okay, Elvis. No, we all haven't right, seen Elvis, Elvis yet. Is the performance was great. <laughs> no, no, the, no. Stop. Who was that? Boz Lerman's movie. That's next no, time. No, who was in it? Uh, we got to go. Hey. Elvis was in it. Hey, you Elvis been, is alive. You've been listening to the Talkies from Carmen <laughs> Lyons Studios where four filmmakers talk about movies. You can listen to our episodes on YouTube and iTunes and Spotify and shit and goodbye. Stitcher. 